Good morning, everybody. It's Wendy. How are you guys doing today? Um, I am doing great. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day in Fayetteville. It looks like it's going to be in the 70s, and yeah, I'm excited for that because it's been kind of cool the last few days. So, um, anyway, I had an announcement to make. Um, as you know, if you've been watching my videos, we've been doing seashell pendants, and today I'm going to do a few more seashell pendants. Um, I've got a couple different shells here. I've got this one that we're going to turn into a pendant and just some different shapes. Um, but I have created kits for the kind of pendants that use the bowl seashell like this right here. Okay, so these little seashells, I've created kits. Um, and your kit includes your seashell, which has been... Um, lacquered to make it shiny and pretty um your and it's been drilled it has a hole in it already you don't have to worry about that um it includes your coriana chain now all of these are done in silver um and the main reason for that is i don't have any um charms <laughs> in other colors all my charms are silver i had some in antique um or no maybe like copper but i didn't have any chain um copper chain or antique gold i think it was antique gold i didn't have any antique gold chain so i had to go with silver so they're all silver but um it includes your shell your chain your coriana chain it's all coriana chain um your clam shells your crimp beads um your lobster clasp and it includes um, three to four different kinds of beads. All of them have at least one type of gemstone bead, mostly jades. Some of them have the Persian jades. Um, some of them have white jade. Some of them have a, like a real light blue jade. Um, some of them have more than one style of gemstone bead. And then there are other beads mixed in color coordinated. So you're getting um, enough to do one entire pendant, probably a pair of earrings as well, um, and you'll probably have some beads left over because I did put quite a few beads in there. Um, you're getting three charms or um, beads that can be turned into charms like, hmm, I don't have any of them out here, like some of them are little seashell shaped beads, some of them are seahorses, and you can... Um, Either you can wrap them or put a jump ring through them and turn them into a draw a dangle. So that's what I'm trying to say. They're not regular beads. They're um, themed beads <laughs> that can be turned into a charm or charms or both. Most of them have both. Um, so you're getting three of those. You're getting spacers, 10 spacers, um, metal, 10 silver metal spacers, and anything else? I think that's it. I think that's everything. So it should be everything you need to make your complete pendant except for jump rings and like a head pin if you needed a head pin. So I don't know that you would even need a head pin if you use jump rings. Um, so yeah, I just did up these little kits. Um, some of them are, you know, they're all really cute, but um, some of them turned out really pretty. I was like, oh, I like that com collar combo. So um, anyway, they're going to be up on my website, or they're already up on my website. You can check those out. I still have some of the Coriana chain up on my website. You can check that out if you're interested. And yay, I got all of my jewelry pictures taken yesterday. All of them. Like, I was so excited. I've never been completely caught up. Okay, well, I say that, and then I say I didn't do my kids' stuff. Like, all my bubblegum bead, mermaid tail, I'm, I'm going to do those. And, like, Christmas and Halloween, I'm not even going to worry about that for right now. But everything else that I need to take pictures of, except for these, I'm going to put all these seashell pendants up on there. They're all drilled already. Um, They have holes already in them. And all you have to do is create your own necklace with them. So I'm going to put all these up on the site too. These resin ones that we did the other day that have the um, inclusions in them. They'll all go up on the site too just as their, you know, their little selves. And then if you want to buy them and finish them, you can. But they're not up there. I haven't even got pictures of them yet. So, But I got pictures of everything else. All my jewelry, like all the finished jewelry except for the kids stuff, is I took pictures. It is currently downloading on the computer right now as we speak. So I still have to 
um, extract the file and resize all the photos and upload them all to the website, write descriptions. I still have to do all that, but I was so excited just to get all the pictures done because, oh my gosh, it takes forever. And I do it out on the back porch where the light is real pretty and natural light. And I try so hard to get really good pictures and whew, it's a job, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I have got the little sets up on the website and we're going to do, um, one, two, three, four pendants today. So if you didn't watch my last seashell pendant tutorial, you can watch it. And then I'm doing four more today just to give you ideas of how, you know, you can do it. But, um, yeah, it'll be fun. So I'm going to flip the camera around and you can join me in the bead room. Hold on just a minute. Okay. So we're back. And we're going to use this little shell pendant right here. I think this is so pretty. It's got a little hole already in the top, and I've lacquered it with clear nail polish. But look how pretty. I just think it's a beautiful little shell. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to glue some crystals on. And I've got these beautiful... Here, let me get these out of here real quick. I've got these beautiful AB crystals get all that out of the way and I've got these gorgeous Pacific opal this is one of my favorite color of Swarovski crystal I think they're so pretty so I'm gonna glue them down this part of the shell and possibly down this part of the shell depending I may put beads inside here and just glue the crystals on the outside okay so I've got some flats these are um, size 16 SS and then these are size 19 SS chatons. They are pointed back. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to use that. So for this, let me just give you the materials list. I'm like scatterbrained this morning. So for this, um, if you want to do this very, the same exact pendant, you're going to need some 16 SS crystals. Now these don't have to be Swarovski. The only reason I have Swarovski is because I worked for a Swarovski dealer. And so I got them at a discount and I would buy them every now and then, <laughs> you know, um, but they don't have to be Swarovski. You can use Joann's and Michael's and um, Hobby Lobby all have little flat back crystals. Let me see if I can find one or find some and I'll show you because I have some of them too. Or um, you can order them online. Um, but let's see. Well, these are bigger. These are a bigger size. But I mean, you can use these little crystals too just as well. They're just little glass crystals and I mean they're not going to be as sparkly as Swarovski but they're still really pretty um I was trying to find a smaller one I know I've got some smaller ones in there but I don't know where they are so I've got you know they come in blue they come in all different colors like here's a couple of smaller ones let me think. yeah here's the little one in aquamarine and it's beautiful I mean it would look very pretty on there so it doesn't have to be Swarovski you can use anything um now, Michael's and Hobby Lobby and Joann's all do sell Swarovski crystals, so you could get them if you wanted to, um, or online. There's a lot of places online. Or you can go on AliExpress and get some um, imitation ones. Now, I actually have some ordered, but I haven't got them yet. Um, when I get them, I'll show them to you. They're just imitation Swarovski, and I want to see how they compare. But look at this. I got this thing from AliExpress. And it is called a growing crystal pendant. And is that not the most beautiful thing? Oh my goodness. And this is not Swarovski right here. And here's one in a different color. Um, so these just came yesterday. I'm going to do an AliExpress haul when I get everything in that I've ordered. But oh, I love these. I think they're so pretty. So there were several different colors and I ordered... I ordered again. I ordered a couple more colors, so I'm just trying to wait for everything to come. But this is not Swarovski, but see, I'm telling you, you can find beautiful things. Um, you don't have to have Swarovski. So get on AliExpress and see what kind of crystals they have. Like I said, I've ordered some, but they haven't come yet. And when they do come, I will show them to you and, you know, we can decide if we like them. <laughs> but I think, I think we will. I mean... I'm not super picky about stuff. I don't, it doesn't have to be brand name for me, just as long as it's pretty. I don't really care what the brand is. I mean, you know, I guess I'm weird that way because a lot of people are really into brand names, but I'm not. Um, like I said, the only reason I have Swarovski is just because I worked for a Swarovski dealer, so I got some discounts. All right, so you're going to need your crystals, your shell. 
I'm using these little bead caps here, which I think are really cute. Um, I'm going to use them on these beads, which I think are really pretty. They're beautiful. And I think they'll go on these. I think it'll be really cool looking. Like I said, you know, this is just a um, come bead with me in my studio video. So um, we're going to see how things work. I've got some AB Fire Polish beads. I've got these gorgeous um, rondelles, and I picked them because they match these crystals perfectly. I've got some pearls in a coordinating color and some silver spacer beads, um, a lobster clasp, two clamshell covers, and two crimp beads, which are in here, so I don't lose them. <laughs> um, and you need your E6000 and your jewelry pliers, and I think that's it. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll glue these down on this guy and then we'll um, move on to another one and then come back to him when he's dry. But you're just going to take a little bit of glue and the way I do my glue is I use um, a toothpick and I just put my glue on where I want it just like this. Now um, we're laying flat, we're laying pointed backs in between flat backs. So you're going to take your flat backs and you're going to put them on just in a line, leave just a tad bit of space in between them. Not much space, okay? You don't want you don't want a whole lot, but you just want enough for that flat or that pointed back chaton to be able to sit in between. Okay? And I'm just following the line of the shell and I'm just gonna go straight down to the bottom here. And you can be fairly liberal with your glue on this. Just don't get the glue on the front, on the um, top of the crystals if you can help it, because it'll make them cloudy. And you don't want that. If you do, it's not the end of the world. We can get it off later with a jewelry cleaning cloth. But just try to be, you know, try not to be too crazy with it. All right, so I've gone down to the bottom here of my shell. This is what I've got. Now. I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to go back up to the top and I'm just going to put a little bit in between those two and then I'm going to take my crystal and set it right there in between just like that okay and press it down it needs to be pressed down and if you when you press it down if you have to move your other ones down that's fine um, just make sure you have to have a little bit of space in between each one for this okay go ahead and do this one next and my glue's getting kind of dry on there and some of my crystals over here look crappy I took them off of something else so they have glue on them. I'm trying to pick out the ones that don't, but I'll have to clean those other ones off later. Okay, and again, just set it down in there. Press it down. Okay, and that's what we've got. A little more glue. I'm going to dump out the whole thing because I can't tell which ones are cleaned off and which ones aren't. It's a pain to clean them off after you um, get glue on the top of them or like say you use them on something and then you're like, oh, I don't like that. I'm going to take it apart. And then you pull them all off and you have to clean them and it is a pain to do it, but it's worth it because they are kind of expensive. <laughs> so I just take them off, clean them up, and then I can use them again. Okay, and just set them down in there just like that. I feel like I'm out of practice doing this kind of stuff because I haven't been to work in two weeks. So I'm like, I, when I go back, if we go back, it's going to be, um, I'm going to have to learn, relearn how to do my job <laughs> because it's been a while now. I am probably going to end up moving one of these guys off the end. This end guy may end up coming off, but I'm just scooting them down. To make enough room because you want the you want the pointed back ones to sit kind of down in between you don't want them sitting up really far they're going to look funny you know so just push them down with your finger there. 
There we go. There's one without too much glue on it. I tried to change my camera angle and went up. Whoops. Yeah, I didn't have enough glue on there. I tried to change my camera angle and go up a little higher. So, um... I have more room down here, you know, and I'm not constantly bumping the camera or going off frame. I'm trying, guys, but I'm not, you know, an expert at filming things. So I'm trying to get it learning by um, my mistakes. I know my last seashell video, I went off frame some, and it's really hard um, to get that perfect spot it really is so I've put down this little mat because this helps me now I'm like if I stay on this then I know I'm in frame and I raise the camera up a little bit so it might not be down as close you know you may not see every little detail like you did before but um I think it'll be better actually <laughs> okay all right so here's what I've got and it is pretty I've got all those on there so I'm just going to, we're going to let this dry for a minute. Actually, we're not. I'm going to go ahead, let me put these away. And I'm going to go ahead and put, um, I think I'm going to glue beads inside this. I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know where my container went for those, but let me just get them out of the way. Okay. So when it hangs, the jump ring is going to be right here. So it's going to hang like this. So... The crystals, I'm going to tip them a little bit this way, just a slight bit, okay? And yeah, I'm going to glue some beads inside there. So I've got these real pretty. These are like rondelles. And I've got some pearls. I really like the look of pearls inside. And I might even glue a couple of these fire polish in there. These I'm going to save for going up the, the wire or the chain. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set in here some glue and I think we'll go with one of these because it's the biggest, fattest one. Yeah, and I'm just going to set it right there and then I'm going to build off of that. I'm kind of wondering if I ought to do some white in here as well. I don't think so though. So now I'm going to put one of, the, whoops, one of these guys in and try to make it to where your holes don't show. Um, you can kind of put them over to the side. You know what? I am going to do a few white ones in here only because I don't have any smaller. Um, I need some smaller ones. Like I need a couple small ones, maybe one right here. And I don't have any smaller ones in those other colors out here. So I'm just going to, yeah, the white will be okay. That'll be pretty. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go right here. I'm not going to do a whole big bunch of beads, just a few. But I really thought, I like the look of this when they're, um, it looks like the shell is just full of pearls and pretty stuff. I think it's kind of fun. I probably need to do a fire polish one on there somewhere. No, I don't like that. I don't even, I'm not even going to put those on there. I don't like the way that looks. Okay. And if they fall kind of inside, you can either take your toothpick and pull them out a little bit until the glue, you know, the glue will set up here in just a minute, and then they won't roll around too much. You hear my cat. He's meowing. Sadie and Chris went to um, Sadie's parents' house. Or, oh my gosh, Chris's parents' house. Goodness. I guess it is Sadie's parents too. I don't know. But anyway, um, they went to Chris's parents' house today to do a little work in the garage for them. And the cat, whenever Sadie is not here, he walks around and just meows for her. I guess he's meowing for her, because that's the only time he does it, is when she's gone, but <laughs> if you hear him, that's what's going on. He is walking around meowing for Sadie. <laughs> I 
I can hear him really loudly. I don't know if you can or not, but. Okay, whoops, I'm getting glue everywhere. I'm messy with it. I'm gonna put that one there. Okay, and one more, or two more little white ones and I'll be done. I don't really like that one there. It's sticking up too far, so I'm going to take it off and put a white one instead. Oh yeah, that looks better. Sometimes you just have to um, try something and see how it looks. If it doesn't look good, just do something else. I really would like to get another one of those green ones on there, though. I need something right here. You know what I could do, maybe? I could put some of the... Well, I don't think I want to put the crystals over here, too. I don't know. This is kind of... Let me see. I really wanted to get one of the green... Another one of the green ones in there, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. There we go. Okay, um, let me put one white one down at the bottom, and then I think I'm going to just be done with it. Let me put a white one down here. Sometimes when you do, you keep going, you end up with too much, and I think that's plenty. But let me turn this one, because its hole is sticking straight up, and it doesn't look like a real pearl if you can see the hole in it. Well, it's just not one to glue down. Let me get a little more glue. All right. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it like that. It is pretty. And when it dries, it'll be really pretty when we get it beaded up. So I'm going to set this stuff aside right here and let him dry before we try to string him because if I try to string him while he's wet I'm gonna mess everything up <laughs> that I know without a shadow of a doubt <laughs> so let me just get all these little beads out of the way and we'll start on the next one and then we'll come back to that one like I said I've got glue everywhere okay all righty so let me scoot all this out of the way okay so that's that one we'll let it dry for a minute now the next one we're gonna do is this one whoops and this one is kind of the bowl shaped one so if you oh did i not put a hole in this i didn't let me pause this video and drill the hole i forgot to hold on okay so sorry i thought i had drilled the hole in that shell but obviously i hadn't so okay so here it is this is the shell and i put a hole in it and i have coated it with clear nail polish on the inside i don't think i did the outside and um, I've got a jump ring that'll be big enough to go through here. And I actually maybe could go a size smaller. So we'll try them and see. I've got a little heart charm that I'm going to hang in it. And a little starfish. And then I have these beautiful, look at these beads. These are so pretty. These came from AC Moore um, when they were closing. And I loved this. <laughs> I thought it was so pretty. So, um, oh, that's wire. Okay. So we're going to take apart this and use some of these beads on it because they match that heart really well. But yeah, these were little like, these little sets, they had all different colors and I just thought they were so pretty. They had white and I can't remember what else. Okay. Get them off here without dumping them all on the floor. But yeah, these are really pretty. I like when somebody else does a mix for me because I'm not sometimes not the best at mixing colors, like putting certain colors together. I don't know. Other people seem to be better at that than I am. It's not like my um, strong suit. So, but so when somebody else puts a mix together like this, I'm all about it. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so we got a ton of beads here now. <laughs> um, and I've got these beads as well, which are like these shell 
They're green and blue shell beads, and I don't even know where I got them, but they match this heart really well. So that's why I went with them. Okay, so for this one, you're going to need some jewelry pliers and some jump rings and whatever else you want to put on it. But yeah, so let me take this jump ring and first of all and see if this smaller one will, will work for this. I don't like them to be too big, but they do have to fit through, you know, and be able to close up. And this one will, so I'm going to go with the smaller one instead of that big, huge one. Make sure it's closed. Okay, I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. All right, now... We're going to hang this little heart from it, and then we're going to create a bead dangle, and we're going to hang the little starfish from the heart. So you do need a couple head pins here. So let me go ahead and do the starfish, and I'm just going to do him by himself. I'm not going to add anything to it. No beads, I mean, just the starfish. I'm just going to create a little loop, bend it at a 90 degree angle, cut off your wire and I save all my little pieces of wire that I cut off from these things because you can use them for other like if you need a smaller head pin or if you need to make an eye pin you can use them for that so I save them all and I'm gonna roll a loop here if I can get a hold of it while I'm having trouble getting a hold of it stay still there we go <laughs> okay so I've got my little loop and I'm just going to go ahead and attach it to this guy. And I hope I didn't go off frame. I'm really trying not to go off frame, guys. I'm really trying hard. The camera now, I've got it up high so I can't see it while I'm filming. Like before, I could see what I was filming fairly well. Now I can't. <laughs> so, but I think as long as I stay on this little guide right here, I'm in good shape. All right, we're going to hang him on here. Okay, and there you have it. So what you will get in your kits will be similar to this. It'll be either a bead like this that you can make into a dangle or a charm or both. Okay, so there those are. Now we're going to put our quarry on a chain on here. I'm just going to put it right through the jump ring. And now, we're just going to beat up the sides and decide what we want to do. So, I'm going to use a couple small beads first. These little guys. Okay. I've got glue on my hands now. They look awful. They didn't look so bad a minute ago because I had just gotten out of the shower, but <laughs> now I've glued things, so I'm back to my old self. <laughs> back to my glued hands. Let's put one of these on. These are really pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to do a small stack of these guys right here. So I'm going to do one... Two, and I'm trying to vary them um, blue green you know kind of vary them a little bit one two three just slide it down you may have to use a little bit of brute force there okay and then I'll do this side I'll go one two these are so pretty i don't i think i had a bracelet that i took apart maybe it dry rotted or something it was um a bracelet that i had bought years ago and i think it dry the elastic in it dry rotted so i just took it apart and i've used these beads on several things i think they're really pretty okay let's do a spacer And a large pearl. And another spacer. And a 
another large pearl. Okay, let's even out and do the other side. Spacer. Large pearl. Spacer. Now the cat's in there eating. <laughs> we can hear him crunching his food. <laughs> Large pearl. Okay. So here's what we've got so far. It's pretty cute. Oh, it is really cute. Okay, I might do another stack of these. So let's do green. I want to save some of these for the earrings too. Blue. And green. And again, I know I've said this before, but this is the one thing that I love about this Coriana chain is you do not have to beat all the way up it because it's so elegant and pretty that it's fine for it to show. It's really pretty if it shows. Okay, green, blue, and green. And let's see, let's use one of these little, I haven't done this guy yet. Little sparkly one. Little sparkly one. Now, do I want to go much further up? Probably not. So I'm going to end it with a little pearl. Trying to watch the camera. It times out on me. Let's find another one. This one might work better. It times out on me after, like, it's a weird time. It's like 30 minutes and 42 seconds, and then it quits recording. I'm like, really? Why? Why 32 minutes? Why not just 32 minutes or 33 minutes? Where's the 42 seconds come in? Um, but it does that every time, so I'm just trying to watch it and make sure when it quits that I hit that record button again. Okay, so here's what we have. This is really cute. Oh, I like it. Okay, so let's do the pair of earrings real quick before we um, finish the, the necklace. So you need head pins, obviously, for earrings. And let's see. I'll probably use a, need to use a thin one because I've got these little pearls on here. All right, so I'm going to do a tiny pearl. Do I want to do that? No, I don't, actually. I want to do a big pearl. Oh, wait, I need eye pins. Okay, sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm doing um, a dangle on here. <laughs> okay, get it together. Get it together, Wendy. Okay, so let's do a large pearl. A spacer. And then I'm going to do a couple of these. One, two. And then a little, this little sparkly guy. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, now I'm going to make a loop. Roll this back. Okay, and if you guys noticed, I never use my um, looping pliers <laughs> ever. I don't know. I'm just, it's so much just, it's just as easy for me to just make the loop myself. I don't know why that is, but I never use them. I bought them because I was making um, earrings at work one time, and I was making like a hundred pairs of little um, snowflake earrings with Swarovski bicones hanging from them. We were doing that for, we were going to this big Christmas um, holiday fair thing, and so I did, I made a bunch of those, and that's why I bought those pliers, because I thought, I cannot do 200 loops, I will lose my mind, and they did, they were really handy for that. But just to do, like, this little pair right here, I never, ever pull them out. So, that's probably not good. I should use them, but I don't. Alright, let me see if I can find a shorter. Here we go. Shorter. And we're just going to put our little starfish on. These starfish are so cute. Several people have sent me these starfish, and I am so grateful for them. Thank you so much. Um, and then they came in the bargain bead box one time as well. 
the turquoise ones. And then um, when I see more went out of business, I got a ton of them um, for like really, really cheap at AC Moore when they were closing. So let me get this guy on here. I didn't open it enough. So now I'm going to have more pictures after I create this story. <laughs> I'm going to have to go take more pictures and put this up on the website too. But So there's that. That's cute. We have to cut down a tree later. We've never cut down a tree. And it's a big tree. Um, but it is leaning toward our house. <laughs> and so Chris notched it so it would fall like a certain way. Um, and I'm just praying it does fall <laughs> the certain way. <laughs> but we've got it like half. not. I mean, it's like half cut through. And he was watching. So my camera stopped. So at least it like beeped at me when it did it. So he was watching YouTube videos about how to put these, um, like pieces of wood in on one side so that it doesn't, so it'll fall the way you want it to fall. And the whole thing has me really nervous because, like I said, we've never cut down a tree and it's a pretty big tree. So yeah, I'm a little nervous about that situation, but it's got to come down and we don't have the money to pay somebody to come and do it. it that's expensive have a tree cut oh my goodness it's like several thousand dollars so I'm like eh, I don't know we'll try to do it ourselves okay so these are very dangly they're cute <laughs> there they are there's a, one of them and here's the other guy all right so there's our little earrings Oh, I need to make a bead dangle for the end of the... Let's do that while I'm... I'm just going to throw a couple things on here. Oh, not a blue one. And we'll do a little pearl. Okay, so that'll be our bead dangle for the end of our extender. Which I haven't pulled out extender chain either. Just realized that. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's put these away real quick. I um, made this roll for myself because I was in here the other day beading, making stuff. It might have been when I did the um, bargain bead box jewelry. Well, it was a disaster in here. I mean, like, there was so much stuff on this bead mat that I could not figure out. I couldn't find anything. It was a mess. So I made a rule for myself that before I start another thing, I have to put away the things that I was using for the thing that I was making. <laughs> so, which um, gets really frustrating when you don't want to do that. You know, I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't want to put it away. I'll do it later. Then I have this huge mess. So yeah. Okay. Let me make sure that's still on film. Okay. So let's put our, um, our clasp on. Um, I've got two little crimp beads if I can find the other one. Yep, there it is. And two lobsters. Okay. So, you guys have seen me do this a bazillion times, so I know you know how to do it. You just put your chain up through the bottom of your clam. I keep calling these lobsters. Every time I call them lobsters. Okay, put your crimp bead on. And these don't have to be crimped pretty because they're not going to show. Crimp it. Smash it down real good. I'm going to put a little glue on it. Right like this. Close this up. 
there we go. Okay, second one. This Coriana chain, I, I swear it makes such pretty jewelry. It just looks so classy. I don't hardly ever use any other chain now. I was going to use antique gold chain yesterday because, um, okay, and that was a seed bead, not a crimp bead. <laughs> I just, like, smushed it and it went flying. Here we go. That happens sometimes. I go picking things up and I get them confused and seed beads go in with crimp beads. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, I can't remember what I was saying now, but yeah, I can't. Oh, the Coriana chain. I was going to use antique gold chain the other day and I was like, um, cause I don't have Coriana chain in that color. I can't find it. I've actually looked for it. Um, but it looked huge to me. Like the links of it were, I just couldn't even bring myself to do it. I'm like, this is so ugly compared to. The Coriana chain. I love this. It's so sleek and pretty. I'm, I've always been a fan of fine chain anyway. I'm not a big, you know, I don't like huge chain, um, huge links. Unless I'm doing like a charm bracelet or something. That's different. But yeah, and I did not care for <laughs> that antique gold. And that's all I had. So I was like, well, I'm just not even going to do it. Okay, got a piece of extender chain here. All right, let's go ahead and Put the extender on here, just like this. I'm not a big proponent of closing these with your fingers, but when they're big like that one is, and um, you can do that sometimes, but I'll go back. I always go back over my jewelry when I'm done and make sure every single little jump ring is closed and I do. I always go back and do that because it makes me really nervous. I would never want anything to fall apart on anybody. I sent a girl a stretch bracelet the other day. She wanted a stretch bracelet and I made it and I was like, oh, this makes me so nervous. I crimped it. I knotted it. I glued it. <laughs> I did everything, but I don't like stretch bracelets. I just am so afraid they're going to come apart. And it makes me nervous sending them to somebody because I don't want ever want my jewelry to come apart and then they would never buy anything from me again. You know, it would it would be really bad. So I was really nervous about that. I'm like, do you really want to stretch bracelet? She's like, yeah, I do. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. So here's this one. This turned out really cute. The earrings are really cute with it. I love the colors. Whoops. Okay. Of course I had to hit the camera at least once or twice. I think I've already done it once. So there's your necklace and here's the earrings. Look how cute. All right, so now we're going to go back to our other one. Let's set this aside. And I don't have a container for these guys, so I can't put them away and follow my rule right now. Let me set them back here, though. Okay, so now we've got this guy, and I love these colors. They're so pretty. Um, I really do. All right, so I need a jump ring for him. And again, I want it to be big enough. You know, you have to make it big enough. It's where you've got some room in there, but you don't, I don't like it to be huge. So let's see if this one will work. Yes, it will. It will work good. Now this one's going to hang a little sideways and that, I did that on purpose. I drilled it that way because I wanted it to kind of hang a little bit sideways. Okay, so let's take the Coriana chain. Go ahead and string him on here. See how he'll hang just like that? I think that's cute. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and bead. Now, I love these beads. This color combo right here is so pretty. Um, I'm going to start with... I thought I had some smaller ones. Maybe not. Okay. I'm going to start with these pearls then, since I don't have smaller ones. Oops. I totally dropped the end of my chain. Did you see that? I was telling you guys the other day that I can't feel things, so I couldn't tell if I was holding it or not. I just dropped it and didn't even know it. <laughs> it's not there in between my fingers, and I think it is. I'm trying to put a bead on it, and there's no chain there. <laughs> that is what happens. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to try these bead caps. I've never used these little bead caps before because they're kind of like really deep, and I mostly just do little 
but these beads are pointy and I think they'll be pretty on there. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I really thought I had that problem <laughs> solved, but obviously I did not. Okay. Oh yeah, those will be pretty on there. That's cool. Okay. So I definitely want to get a couple of these on here. Because they match it so perfectly. And I'll throw a fire polish on them because these are just gorgeous. Another pearl. Okay, let me catch this other side up now. So we'll do our little um bead cap. These beads, I don't know what they are, they're glass. These pointy beads, but they're just so pretty, they're twisted. So, do any of you know anybody who has had this virus? Um, I was thinking yesterday, you know, they're talking about the numbers in the United States and stuff, and Chris and I had to run out and take his parents some food because we definitely don't want them going out there in their late 80s. And there's a stay-at-home order here unless you're doing something like that. And there were people everywhere. I mean, like, I could tell absolutely no difference from when there's not a stay-at-home order. There were that many people out. The grocery stores were packed. The parking lots, like all the restaurant parking lots, I could I, and I know that the restaurants aren't open, but people are driving through. I just was amazed because I thought, I thought we would go out there and it would be like a ghost town. You know, I really did. Apparently I'm very naive, <laughs> but anyway, um, they were talking about the numbers, you know, and how it's worse here. And I'm thinking, yeah, because Americans are stupid. I don't know if we're just so spoiled that we don't care or we just live in this like we think it won't affect us or I don't know. I couldn't figure that out. But I'm like, why is everybody out? I mean, people were out just everywhere, like walking and I know you got to get your exercise, but I just couldn't. I was shocked. So I got to thinking, I personally don't know anybody that has had the virus thank God, um, you know, and I just wondered how many other people don't know anybody that's had it because, um, yeah, I don't, and I'm praying, you know, my dad is immunocompromised and I'm praying he doesn't get it, obviously, and, you know, it's scary, but yet we just have to uh, keep our heads on straight and not panic. Um, but I was thinking, I don't know anybody that has had it. Now, I do know a lady that was exposed to it, um, but she did not develop the virus. Um, she was tested and everything, and she didn't develop it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I do know we were calling Chris, and, or Chris, actually, I didn't, I wasn't doing it, but Chris was calling. They gave him a list of names from our church of people, they're trying to call everybody and just touch base and make sure everybody's okay and everybody doesn't need anything. And um, this person told Chris that he had two cousins in the hospital with it. So, but I personally don't know anybody that's had it. And I was wondering about you guys. But we've stayed in. I mean, we really, I haven't been... Except, and there's that, a clamshell that does not have a hole in the bottom. You'll have this happen every now and then. And when it does, I just take my beading hole. And you can punch a hole through it. I'm not going to do that right now because my luck, I would slip up and poke a hole in my finger on camera. <laughs> and I don't really want to do that in front of everybody. So I will try to poke a hole in that guy later. And we'll just put another one on. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> but anyway, we've stayed in. I, I really haven't gone anywhere at all. 
since they did the stay at home order. I think I ran out to McDonald's drive through one morning and got breakfast for Chris and I just because we were like, oh, we've got to have something different. <laughs> um, but, you know, of course, I didn't get out and be around anybody at that point. We were just, I just drove through, but I was really kind of curious about you guys and I hope nobody gets it. None of you guys get it and you don't know anybody that's got it either because I think it's not so much of an issue for younger people, but for the elderly, it's, it's, uh, dangerous. Okay. So there we have those closed up. Let me get, let me get a ring. These are just regular jump rings that I use for the lobster to attach to. Um, it's just an, a larger jump ring. And I just make sure it's closed really well. And of course, I put the extender on it and everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that on. This one I think is going to be pretty. I really like these colors. This like seafoam green. My mom had carpet. <laughs> she still does actually. Her carpet's still this color. But I remember when they changed it over. I was about 12 and we had the whole 70s look in our house. We had the um, olive green and gold. <laughs> and my mom switched over to seafoam green and peach. And she was like, oh, this is so pretty. But I remember... For some reason, that seafoam green, that that's what that was called. That always stood out to me. <laughs> seafoam green. That's what these are. They're seafoam green. I mean, we actually had a metallic, like, looking gold chair in our house. <laughs> we were the 70s um, colors there for a long time. It was a fabric chair, too, but it was metallic. Alrighty. Put our little dangle on. There's that. And let's attach the lobster. And I told you guys wrong at the beginning of this video. I said all of the kits were the cup shells. They're not. Some of them are the flat shell. There's cup shells and there's the flat shells, and I'm going to do a flat shell next here real quick so you can see how I do it, but um, the kits have one or the other, and their pictures are up on the website, so you can pick which one you want. Like, um, you know, you can see the shell and you can see the uh, charms and all that. Okay, so here's this one. I, I like this a lot. I think it's really pretty. It's different, but yeah really pretty so I like how that turned out so let's set that aside let it dry real good and I will do the cup shell in here really quickly now or the flat shell so yeah like I said in the kits there is this flat these flat shells as well and I'm going to use this little pearl and these rondelles on it and make a little dangle on here so your kit will come with, depending on which one you choose, either the cup shell, like we just did with the heart charm in the middle. Now they won't have the heart charms. They'll have different charms because I didn't have um, a bunch of heart charms. But um, it'll be like that shell, either the cup shell or this flat looking, a little bit flatter shell. Okay, so here's our jump ring. And I'm going to make a bead dangle for this. And I may have to use, probably have to use a little spacer bead on the bottom because I don't think that it'll probably go right through this head pin. Okay, so let's put a spacer bead and then this little crystal rondo. I think these came in the bargain bead boxes last time. These are just leftovers that I had from it. Yeah. Another one and another spacer. I got on Panda Hall and ordered some spacers. I've used so many little silver spacers in the last few days that I'm running really, really low on them. 
and I use them all the time, so I definitely didn't want to run out of them. So I got on there and ordered like, you got like 10,000 of them for <laughs> $6 or something. The Panda, they have great prices on there. I love Panda Hall and I like their quality of their stuff, but man, the shipping, it just kills. Um, I only ordered, I think two things. Yeah, I ordered the spacer beads and I ordered some seed beads. Oh, uh, these seed beads, you guys. Here they are. This is the most gorgeous color. I don't know. It's, look at it. It's like a silver rainbow. They are so pretty in person. And I wanted a bunch more <laughs> than that. So I did get on there and I ordered those and I ordered the spacers. And I think the total for my merchandise came to like, I don't know, it wasn't a whole lot. And the shipping, though, the shipping was like way, it was more than the items that I ordered. And I was like, this sucks. I don't, I mean, it really does to have to pay that much shipping. And I know I've heard people, some people say that you can get on Amazon and get some Panda Hall products. And if you're a Prime member, then you don't pay the shipping, but they didn't have what I wanted. They did not have those seed beads and I really wanted to get some more of those seed beads. So I bit the bullet and paid the shipping, but I was not happy about that. Okay, so there that is. I think that's really pretty. And we're going to put the Corian on here. And I'm going to use some white pearls on this one to match that. I'm going to start with small. I always like to start with small beads at the bottom. I don't know why, but I don't ever like to put the really big ones there. So I wish that Panda Hall would, and I know there's a Panda Hall U.S. as well, a U.S. warehouse, and I think that their shipping is probably less, but again, they didn't have the seed beads that I wanted in the U.S. warehouse. So... I just paid the shipping, but I was not happy about it. <laughs> so, okay, let's go with a six millimeter. These pearls I got from, I think it was L Beads, um, when they had asked me if I wanted to have some of their products and do a video, and I did, and it's a, it came in this package of, all different sizes and I've used the heck out of this I really like it but again I got back on there and I've looked at things and their shipping is just so freaking outrageous that you know nobody wants to pay that I'd rather just order it from Amazon or order it from I'd rather even pay Fire Mountain Gym shipping which I don't agree with because it's a flat rate for even if you order just a teeny tiny item or if you order a bunch of items, which I have flat rate shipping on my website as well, but um, it's only three seventy five. dollars Fire Mountain Gems is five ninety nine, dollars and I feel like that's kind of a lot. Um, okay, so those two spacers don't match. <laughs> Let me fix that. That's not going to work. Actually, there's another one of those. I'll use that one. I can mix them in here. I don't mind mixing them and matching because they're just slightly different, but I do want the, you know, I want them to be the same, this one matching that one, and we'll do it that way. Okay, let's put a couple bigger pearls. This one's going to turn out really classy, I think. another spacer and these two do match okay I'm just making sure they match I'll do another bigger purple I guess a lot of people order from those Chinese sites despite the shipping, so I guess as long as people are willing to pay it, they'll charge it, but I don't know. It just seems like a whole lot. 
And I don't know the difference. I don't know why AliExpress, you can order things from there and their shipping is not. And a lot of times you can get free shipping on there. And I've been ordering a lot of stuff on there. I'm going to show you guys when it all comes. Um, but I don't know why they can ship for free, but Panda Hall can't. Because they're all in China. So why? Yeah, I don't get it. But. Or not even just free shipping if Panda Hall just charged a reasonable amount. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't understand. Okay, I'm going to put a tiny pearl on here. And then, I think that's all I'm going to do on this one. Okay. So there this is, whoops, go to the front. Yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, I'm sorry. That's really pretty. Okay, so let's throw the clamshell on. Actually, I'm not gonna finish this one and make you guys watch because this video is getting long. You know how to finish it. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to this next one. So this is a different kind of shell and I'm actually gonna have to drill him too. I forgot to drill this one, so let me do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've drilled this one and gone ahead and put the jump ring on. And for this one, I've got these pearls here. I'm going to, oh goodness, I'm so sorry. I really thought I had <laughs> got that far enough up out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to glue a few of the pearls on the inside of this one, just like we did on that other one. Not a whole big bunch, just like two or three. Okay, so it's going to hang. I've got dust in there okay it's gonna hang like this I'm just gonna do a few pearls right here and I've got these pretty they match this shell really well so I'm just gonna set a few in here let me set him up on here so that pearl will kind of stay in place a little bit until I need my rice but I don't have it here it is I do have it out here I'll grab my rice and do this there we go that makes it much easier. And once that pearl, the glue sets up, that pearl will not move. Okay? It'll stay right in place. And I'm just going to do a couple here at the front. Uh, let's see. Let's do another big one. Yeah, there we go. Make a little... Gathering of them here in the front. And again, try not to let your hole show. You can turn them to where the holes don't show. It's better. And the glue, if I can get the glue to come off the, there we go. And I was going to put one more right here. Okay. And I'm just going to leave it like that. And let's go ahead and do the earrings really quick while that sets up just a bit. These are really cool. These are pieces of shell. And I had these on a bracelet that I took apart again. It was one of those stretchy bracelets that dry rotted. So I just took it apart, and I'm just going to put, if I can get the head pin to go through there, there we go. Okay, I'm going to put it on a head pin, and I've got these sparkly little rondelles here. I'm just going to do, actually I'm probably just going to leave it at that. Oh, but you know what, I need gold, don't I? What am I doing? I know you guys were yelling that at me, and I didn't hear you. You were going, you need gold. <laughs> You're right. Okay. And I wanted to thank um, Ashley for the idea to do the kits. Um, Ashley came up with that idea, and she suggested that, and I think it's a great idea. So that's why I did that. So thank you, Ashley. I really appreciate it. Now this is a very thin head pin. I don't have any um, regular gold ones. This is the ball head pin. 
So I'm going to have to create a wrap loop with it because I'm afraid if I create a regular loop it'll just come undone because these are so thin. So I'm just going to make a little wrap loop here with this head pin real quick. And there are a lot more. These little ball head pins are so thin that you just about have to do that because if you try to just make a regular loop with them, they will come, they'll, they'll come open. And then I'm going to hang it on here. So that is that earring. I think that's really cute and it matches the shell so well. See that? Okay, so now I'm just going to beat up the shell with my Coriana chain, just like we normally do. I've got gold on this one. And so this gives you guys some ideas um, of how to do the shells, even though this shell is not what comes in the kits. Um, you know, it gives you some ideas of how to do the flat shell and the cup shell. They turn out really pretty. They're very unique. And um, they sell like hotcakes at the craft shows. People really like them, I guess, because you don't see them everywhere. You know, you don't see shell jewelry. So, yeah. Um, I really like them. They're a lot of fun to make, too. I like working with the seashells. So, I'm just going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to beat up the chain a little ways. And then I will finish it, and it'll be done. So I'm not going to make you guys sit and watch it. You've seen it a thousand times. But um, yeah, so you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like it, subscribe to my channel, visit my website, and thank you to everybody who has. And um, yeah, the shell kits will be up there. They're, well, they're already up there on the website, so if you're interested in those, you can get on there and, and pick out one. And, um, yeah, have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!